fight to save music and art programs at a top high school in Detroit taking a new twist tonight. Well, the president of the school board is now accusing DPS of false advertising. Our own Ronnie Dahl has been fighting to save the music since last week and joins us now with an update. And Ronnie? Yeah, you know, because school starts for these students in just over a week from today. Next Tuesday, in fact. So this clock is ticking to try to save the performing arts program here at Renaissance High School. And today, the Detroit Public School Board's president is weighing in. Preparing the world's next composers, ambassadors, and artists. In a widely distributed video, DPS promotes a promising future for its students. A future that includes not just academic success, but exposure to music and the arts. It's a push to get more bodies in the classrooms and more money in the coffers. But it may not be enough money to keep the music playing at Renaissance High School. They lure these parents and students into the uh, district under a promise of program that no longer exists. It's, it's a classic case of bait and switch and false advertising. For so many students, the performing arts program at Renaissance High School is their path to opportunity. The program is well respected and well known across the country. And just days before the new school year is set to begin, students are learning the program may be axed. That is our flagship uh, school and uh, um, if we uh, cut that program, it'll say um, it may be the final nail in the coffin for DPS. Lamar Lemons is the president of the Detroit Public School Board. With an emergency manager running the show, the school board has no power to make changes they believe would put students first. We see a lot of fat in, in with contractors, security for, for individuals, and et cetera. There's a lot of fat in the budget, a lot of things that can be cut before we uh, uh, cut classroom instruction time. Very tough time because I have a ringside seat on the, and, and I'm helpless to do anything to prevent it. And so the students are trying to do what they can do to prevent this program from being cut. In fact, they do have an online petition. So many people are supporting them. Thousands have signed that petition. They are also organizing some protests. Look for those in the coming days. For now, we are live on Detroit's West Side. Back to you. And they're so talented, Ronnie. We had them in Broadcast House a few months back now, and they just perform beautifully. They're really hurt about this, these students. Yeah, they really are. And as someone who has no musical talent, you can appreciate what they have. But on top of this, for so many of these students, they do get college scholarships because of their talent, talent that they got from going to school here. So we need that to continue. We sure do, Ronnie. Thank you.